So the first hand we have for you here is Jack-5 offsuit, which is funny because how do we have a hand here with Jack-5 offsuit? But we are in the big blind, and there are a couple of limps, and we check our option. Double check our cards here, got to know those suits. And the flop comes out queen, three, five. One heart on the flop. It checks to the late position player who decides to bet 20 bucks on the flop. There's one call, I call, and then a player to my left also makes the call. So we end up going four ways to the turn here. And the turn comes out a jack of hearts. So this is pretty sick. We just made two pair. And I actually quickly check here with the intention of check raising. This player in late position just bet into three other players, so I thought there was a good chance they at least had a queen, though their sizing is not exactly indicative of having a queen. Uh, it was a limped pot preflop, but uh, we did not get our chance to check raise the turn as it checked around. And then the river comes in a four of hearts. So the backdoor flush came in, ace deuce got there. Past that, we still feel pretty confident about our hand. So we bet out 130 bucks on the river. We get a fold and then the late position player fairly quickly makes it 550 bucks. There is a fold and it's back to me. And at this point, honestly, I'm pretty much folding for the speed that this person raised and the fact that they raised with multiple people still behind them here. I just don't think my two pair is gonna be good. And at this point, this is my third vlog where we're shot taking at 1010. And honestly, 1010 here has been very, very straightforward. There's, I have not seen anything fancy going on. So, uh, you know, just gonna be making the fold here. Nice hand to them. And the player, flips over and shows that they did hit the flush. So I get to sleep good tonight <laughs> with my fold. The next hand we have, we have pocket aces in the small blind. There is a middle position open to 60 bucks over a $20 straddle coming in from under the gun. I It folds to me then and I make it 240 bucks in the small blind. The uh, opponent in middle position wants to know how many chips I have. Eventually, though, they do make the call and we go heads up to the flop. And then the flop comes 649 Rainbow. Here on this board, I feel like I'm pretty far ahead. And I was also thinking that I have a lot of like ace king, ace queen, maybe some king queen suited, stuff like that, and sets that are going to check here. So I decided to check my aces here. I think I really should just be betting for when they have like ace nine suited, nine ten suited, tens, jacks, and stuff that don't want to that want to call a three bet. But um, those hands are probably also going to bet this flop, so I can check raise them as well and try to get all the chips in the middle. But uh, yeah, I remember in this moment I was thinking about protecting my check call range, and I decided to I guess play it safe. Maybe might uh, feel a little bit more how we are playing this hand. But we got to sell the story, so they bet 200 bucks. We just call. The turn comes a seven of diamonds, which brings in the uh, backdoor diamonds. And I check. Again, just selling the story that I may be check calling ace king here. And I may have thought that this player was a bit aggressive. But the turn ends up going check, check. And then the river comes in eight. The flush does not come in, so we have six, four, nine, seven, eight. So there is a straight out there and a four to a straight. So that kind of sucks. I don't know that we can really value bet here. I do think that they can have a bit of two pair. So I decide to check the river and go from there. And our opponent does not choose to bet. And I flip over my aces and we end up winning this pot. And after this hand, we are up to about 2,700 in our stack from our starting 2,300. The very next hand, we look down at ace jack offsuit on the button. There is an early position open to 40. I decide to call on the button with our offsuit ace jack, and the big blind also comes along. The flop becomes ace king eight rainbow. So it checks to me on the button, and I decide to check back 
because I believe this is a two street hand. And uh, I was just going to go for later streets, try to get more value from King X here. I was really just uh, mixing up my play a bit. I think that uh, we're just going to be betting this flop a lot as well. But since it, there was no flush draw out there, I just decided to check. And the turn comes in nine of hearts. So this is bringing in the backdoor flush draw. So we have ace, king, eight, nine. The big blind leads for 100. There is a fold. And I look at my cards to make them think that I'm on a draw. And then I throw in the call. Obviously, I'm not folding here. The river is a blank two. They check to me. And then I, I take a second and think here about what my value bet sizing is and what they can call with. And I land on 300. And I decided to go with a little bit of a bigger sizing here just because I thought it looked like I had a draw. And if I had missed a draw, then I'm going to want to bet bigger here to try to get some sort of King X to fold if they have Ace X and they're planning to just check call the river, they're gonna call a bigger bet sizing anyway. So I don't need to bet small and just target a king. They take a good minute here thinking about whether or not they want to call, but they do eventually just fold and we pick up the hand here. So we're continuing to build, this is great. The next hand that we get in the cutoff here, we have Jack 10 off suit. It folds to me and I make it 30 bucks. Both of the blinds call and the flop comes ace of hearts, queen of hearts, eight X. So we have a double gut shot here. We need a king or a nine to make a straight. They both check to me and I decide to go with a bigger bet sizing. I bet 70 bucks and they both fold. So continuing to build and we move on to the next one. So we were at the must move table here in this 10, 10 game and we ended up getting our table changed, moving over with 2880 in our stack. So we're gonna have a new table of players to figure out, get some reads, but the show goes on. Here we look down at ace jack offsuit on the button. There's an early position limp and the cutoff makes it 70 bucks. I call on the button, definitely gonna be calling here on the button. And if I was suited, I might consider re-raising, but I just decided to call with the offsuit here, play my button, go from there. The limper does call as well and we go three to the flop. Uh, the flop comes ace, king, eight, rainbow. So no flush draws out there. Early position player checks. The player who made it 70 bucks pre-flop. Thanks for a minute here. And then makes it 140 bucks. And of course, we're not going anywhere here. I don't think this is a spot where we ra raise either. So I'm just going to be tossing in the call and then going from there. The early position player folds. And then we go heads up to the turn. The turn is a blank four. The initial raise of preflop here, we are now heads up. I'm in position and they decide to check. Now the decision is on me, what I wanna do here. I do at this point think that I'm ahead and I decide to check. So I was being quite sneaky this evening, trying to play a little bit of a different style than I had in my past 10 10 sessions now this could be a three street hand but i am starting to notice there are a bunch of spots where i might be getting a little bit greedy so i have been trying to hone in my two street uh strategy and i bet 300 on the eight river and the out of position player snap calls me and unfortunately the board pairs so it's aces and eights with the king kicker my jack does not play here versus the ace 10 so we just chop up this pot and at this point we are sitting on about 2.5k we had raised folded a couple of situations prior when we moved to this table and yeah so this is where we're at now 2.5k the very next hand we actually get ace jack off again in the cutoff so a lot of ace jacks this video i don't know how this is happening but anyway there is a early position limp again and we make it 40 bucks big blind and the limper call flop comes king seven deuce rainbow so i have uh, fairly hardly bricked it checks around on the flop and the turn comes a jack now the big blind and the limper check I make it a hundred bucks and they both fold. So we pick up a small pot here. 
But also, I guess this is semi-notable. The player in this, uh, these few hands that has been limping a lot is actually the same player in one of my earlier 1010 vlogs who stacked me and uh, busted me for a uh, full bullet for like 2K in an earlier video. So uh, it makes me go back and think, man, I, I got to fold the river. If you guys remember the one where I hit the flush, they had kings full and I bet called instead of bet folded. Anyway, anyway, let's move on to the next hand here. Well, 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 what do you know? We have black aces in the small blind. Again, this is not the same hand. This is actually a different hand. So uh, here we have a very similar situation to the first aces hand earlier in the video. A middle position opens to 40. There is a call. And I make it 250 here. The MP opener folds, and then the late position player calls. We go heads up to the flop. The flop comes 995 rainbow, no flush draw. And again here, I decide to check against the same player, thinking that uh, they were going to fire like they did in the earlier aces hand. But they don't, so it checks around, and the turn comes a three. Now, I have to start betting here. I can't get too, too tricky and trappy. I bet a 150 bucks and they call. And at this point, too, I think they kind of just have high cards when they check back the flop. In the last aces hand that was similar to this, uh, they ended up betting the flop. So when they check here, I think they just have a lot of ace high. So I didn't go with that big of a bet on the turn. I wanted to keep those hands in. So the river comes a blank nine. And I decide to go with a bigger sizing here. And looking back at it now, honestly, I don't know that I love this sizing because it really does look like their range is just very, very ace high heavy. I know we have pocket aces, so it's a bit less likely that they have that. But I'm thinking about hands that they call my three bet with, check back flop, call smaller bet on the turn. And when they arrive to this river, they just have ace high, maybe some king highs. So because all of their smaller middling pairs are going to be betting flop. But yeah, I don't like my sizing here. I think I got a little bit greedy. I think I should have went with uh, more of a small bet, maybe like 200, 250 on the river to maybe get a curious call from ace high. But regardless, we end up taking it down. And now our stack is sitting on 3,000, a little over 3,000. So shortly after that ace's hand, we have a couple of other small hands that we didn't get any video for. It uh, wasn't anything impactful to the session, but we uh, got to have one last dinner with Hannah here. Here is a picture of our driver and for sure friend Paul, who has the RV and then our, uh, our boy John here. And then Hannah, after our session, we got a little food, a couple drinks and yeah, just hung out kind of like a farewell and yeah what's going on everybody so we finally 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 beat 1010 here at parks for the first time man for the first time ever the day before we are set to go on our big rv trip across the country and play a bunch of cash games go out to vegas for the wsop uh so this feels good this feels good didn't play too long we picked up john at the airport uh, and then we came here. It's been a really long day for him. It's been a long day for me too And we got a super long day tomorrow. Got to pick up uh, Rob at the airport at like 6 a.m. Because he missed booked his flights uh, Somehow booked for like October 21st, which is crazy like Rob. What were you thinking? But anyway, uh, I did actually miss like one hand towards the end that I didn't get where we had ace jack of hearts and we called a $40 open uh, Flopped a flush draw called a $110 c-bet Turned the flush, bet, took it down. But uh, yeah, other than that, it was a really good session. And uh, we're finally booking a win here at Parks. So the uh, summary of the night, bought in for 2300 cashed out for $35.60. First time profitable playing 1010, which is really nice. And yeah, that's it. Off to Vegas tomorrow. The journey starts. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to hit the follow button, like, subscribe. I'll catch up with you later. Peace. Hey everybody, thanks for making it to the end of my video. No one does that, do they? All right, look, I respond to comments, so please leave a comment below the description and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, check out some of my last videos here and don't forget to hit the subscribe button here. All right, 
My name is Drew. Peace out. Catch up with you later.